Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. We're gonna go talk to Garrus, we're gonna go talk to fr our friends, see what they say about the sanctuary thing, which was truly an abomination. I haven't heard very many conversations to overhear lately. So the elusive man really believes he can control reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. Yeah, no, I'm like, he's like, he wants to extrapolate it to the Reapers themselves, right? But it's like, husks don't really have their own, like, mind, kind of. They're just, they're mindless husks, you know? <laughs> they just have, like, one urge to, like, taking over their, like, mental capacity. It would not be that difficult. But Reapers are, like, millennia old. Like, so many millennia, <laughs> you know? And so it's like... <laughs> They're super smart and like super complex. Trying to take that over would be crazy. I'm still just like I sh I'm not surprised that he did all that. Honestly, like what he did in Sanctuary, but it's still just it's horrifying. It's like it's not that unrealistic for him, given that he sacrificed like half the Horizon col colony just to get a collector sighting. You know, so it's just. But it is kind of wild that it's like a human supremacist group is experimenting on humans. <laughs> like, which maybe shouldn't be that surprising, right? Or it's like, well, we have to like improve ourselves. Like humanity is the apex, except we gotta apex more. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, I guess to be fair, they weren't necessarily, he just was like, uh, what was it? Uh, he's like, I, I'm just fighting to give humanity a real voice on the galactic stage. You know, not necessarily, he's not necessarily human supremacist, he said. The group did start out that way, kind of, when it split off as a black ops force from the Alliance. Um, but, yeah, they're basically they're a terrorist group. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, you know. A lot of Turians went to See? Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. But we didn't see any of those experiments. We did see one Ardot Yakshi, or one Banshee, I guess, locked into a room. Um, the other forces that I thought were the Reapers that were coming in that were mad, but those must maybe were those, like the Vitarian, the Reaper, or the Turian, maybe those were just on site experiments. But in the videos we saw, I just saw a bunch of humans walking. So I was like, is this just a human sanctuary? Like we already were wondering that, you know, but apparently not. Apparently there were a bunch of other people there. So equal opportunity destruction. It wasn't just about human, like uh, doing experiments on humans to advance them genetically or whatever. It was just about being a, being a monster. Not right now. I know, bud. Mm-mm-mm. So I've stopped drinking soda for the most part in the last, like, year. But Dr. Pepper just put out a creamy creamy coconut Dr. Pepper flavor, and it is mind-blowingly good. Greetings, Commander. I have, uh, I've been drinking that one as a treat, as a lot of treat. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. She got scratched! Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. I do kind of wonder, I can't remember if Miranda can die in this one, if you don't inform her about Kai Lang or something. Hello again. I am unsure. Ooh, Prothean notes. I can't let disappointment stop me from learning the Protheans' history. It's just as naive as thinking they were all benevolent. And I've perhaps been arrogant, judging an entire species of what little time I've had to know its sole survivor. He was hardly responsible for the skewed view I had of his people. I just put forward the idea of writing a book with Javik, and to my surprise, he said he would think about it. Perhaps it's a start. She's uh, she's driven herself, right? She's kind of unstoppable. She's like she's still asking Javik for uh, information. You know, you can't get her down. Oh, oh like where's Tally? That's right. Man. Yeah. There she is. There's my baby. Wah. Let's see what the news puppeteer that we've got in here, the news puppet that we've got, says. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. We do need to get that one out and about, you know? Sorry, if I poke her, she'll think I'm trying to throw her off the ship. 
which would be fine. I'm trying to see. I was curious at first. I just I don't know if I've ever thought about it, but I was. Oh, okay, he's over there. I was like, I don't know if you can see the people moving around down there from here, but you can. There's the doggy. There's Cortez. Nice. Okay. So it's not just like a blank slate from here. You can actually see. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry. She's drunk. But you really care about She's her. She's drunk. I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. <sighs> You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me. <laughs> this conversation is over. I don't think he actually does. It's kind of my thing. Like, not till maybe later. <laughs> but. Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Um, something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Pretty wild, huh? Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. Hey! But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. I do have a one-up. Are up. they the reason you wish to continue living? My crew has become my family. We've stared death in the face more times than I can count. Things like that bind people together in ways I can't really explain. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories We're finally to it. getting this. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? It never struck me as a. I'm gonna say this, but it's not. I don't mean it. It never struck me as a coward, right? Where it's like I feel like Javik goes headfirst into things. Like he's not stupid, but he, you know, he, he he sees what needs to be done and he does it. But this more emotional side of things is potentially a lot more difficult. I hope I didn't like miss this and like it's like a delayed cutscene thing. Ugh. But it's fine. We still have shore leave stuff to help us out. Before I leave, like, missions. Let's see, though. I don't know. I think I'd feel empty and untethered if I didn't even, like, the pain sucks. But, like, it, like, when it's about the people you love being gone and, like, you know, the planet, everything you knew and loved and just understood is gone. Who are you without that, though? Like, you are the ex your experiences, right? Like, you're the people around you, for good or for bad. You're your experiences, for good or for bad. And you just kind of end up muddling around, doing your best, you know? And living your life. Like, what is it? The um, is it Ralph Waldo Emerson quote? Where it's like, I don't remember... I can't, I'm paraphrasing hardcore, but it's like, I don't remember all the meals I've eaten and all the books I've read, but each one has, like, changed me irrevocably something like that you know what i mean like you may not necessarily like remember every little detail because no, your brain our brains aren't capable of that you know you're not gonna remember every single amazing food you ate or book or movie you watched or whatever but little by little those things do affect your brain like your 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 chemistry kind of you're like the pathways in your brain and you change as a person a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and even if you can't remember why like you maybe hold like a certain viewpoint or something maybe it came from like a book you read that really like opened up a new idea to you you know and now like you might not remember the origin of it but you have that now as a person and you've changed because of that you know so i feel like you're doing yourself a disservice in this case of javik right if you don't do those memories but i also don't blame him for not wanting to be in horrific pain you know but I think for my shepherd, she sees those connections. She already said it, right? Those connections are incredibly important to her, her family. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's her found family, essentially. Like, 
even if it was even if it tore apart she'd want to have that you know it's like want to remember that if i had something like this seeing earth again whole with everyone still alive that would be worth the pain before the reapers the stars belonged to us civilization flourished there was the quasar fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the ice canals of Judah Four, the palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet we were extinguished. We fought back. I... Uh, you okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. Only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That must have been. It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Hmm. So he is unhappy that I had him relive his memories. He had the choice, though. I just said, here's what I would do. And then he made the choice, you know? I know technically it's a game, and by making that choice, I made him make the choice in the, in programming work sense, but yeah. Javik has some banger lines about war. War is a trust, and he committed to the name of survival. Like, yeah. I... But it. The crew seem shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. The entire planet joined in this ritual. I would spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reapers' job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Yeah, so that cutscene must have must be intentionally triggered after Sanctuary. Because then we get this line when we click on him after the cutscene, you know? Uh yeah, that's the thing is is Javik is always like what he's that one up kind of guy. Where it's like, oh, you you suffered? Well, I suffered worse. Like, those people are the worst online, especially, right? Where it's like, you don't get to invalidate somebody else's suffering simply because yours was, air quotes, worse, right? Maybe it was. Maybe it was worse. 100%. Doesn't mean you get to invalidate somebody else's, like, hard time, right? Like, just because maybe you were abused as a child doesn't mean you can say that anybody going through really severe depression from like a chemical imbalance is like better off than you. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't mean you get to invalidate other people's pain and like protect, like I don't know, put yourself as a martyr, you know? Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, bud. Commander. Uh, the, the elusive man's quite cray. I think he allowed himself to be like, he, the elusive man is somebody who desperately wants control of a situation, like, a lot. <laughs> and so a situation like this where he feels like it's out of his control, he's like, I need to fix this, and it's like, no, I already don't, or you could just not. Do I want to do, is this my, is this the shotgun? I think it is. The, the Rieger Carbine! <laughs> Do I, it's only giving me access to level 5. 
There's supposed to be ten. <gasps> oh my gosh! The model live ship and the Geth fighter. Oh my gosh! And the aquarium bi. Yes. Thank you. I will. I worry about my my babies. I don't want Cerberus armor. Oh my gosh, look at that! That's awesome! That one's cool too. That one's interesting. Also, uh, <laughs> has this been here the whole time? I think I never look at it because friggin' Cortez is always <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. Let's see. I'm so excited though, I finally filled <laughs> out my, uh, oh, it's a 10% mark up here. I, uh, I did finally uh, finish up my my what do you call it? Uh, my figures collection. I feel like some of these weren't aren't like I, these 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 places are all. I'm pretty sure they're all on the Citadel, but like I have not seen some of these. I swear. Wow, that's a cool looking, cool sounding gun and horrifying. But very and cool looking too. The Terminus armor is pretty cool looking. That's kind of a scary looking hood. Oh, here from the uh, Spectre thing, here's the codes that I missed. I swear I already bought these, but... Got some stuff! Is everything okay, Shepard? Ma'am. I mean, you know, it's alright. I gotta go, get my, gotta go look at my completed set now. This whole time, if it's been available to me in some capacity and I just... didn't find him, I'll be sad. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reaper. Well... I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Also, Just one more reason to hate them. Also, he's really... He's a, a means justify the ends kind of guy, and I don't really want him on our side. <laughs> Let's see, I got... James and Cortez... Adam, blah blah blah. Yes. And now I've done my duty as captain and gone through the ship and talked to everybody, and now I get to go take time for myself and look at my completed collection. Woo! The live ship is so nice. Look at that little gift one. It's so. It reminds me of a cicada. It reminds me of a dried out husk. A uh, cicada husk. Uh, I keep asking uh, for Christmas every year if I can get, uh, there's a Mass Effect Relay replica in the Bioware store, and I'm always like, please, can I have it? <laughs> but it is expensive. I did also ask for, there's a shotgun replica, and there was like, I think there was an assault rifle replica, and that one's gone now, but I'm hoping I at least get the shotgun replica for Christmas, that would be nice. My fishies are now, my, well, my jellyfishies <laughs> are safe now. I will never, there will never be a time when I accidentally forget to not, to not feed them. You can see my, my, oh my gosh, you can see the reflection of my ship figures reflecting in the glass on this tank. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this chest plate. That looks sick, honestly. And it gives a power recharge and a power damage bonus. Holy cow, I don't know if I've ever had this set before. This looks really cool. Also, the power recharge is actually crazy. Just dumping it all into that. <laughs> this looks like uh, it's from Star Wars. The death mask matches. Oh, ho, ho. It looks ridiculous, though. The helmets all look ridiculous. 
I don't like this one. Like I like this, this I like it kind of, but not really. Also, I think it's finally time for Shepard to be in her her hoodie outfit. I'm trying to decide that. I mean, this one gives her better shoulders. This one's harder to tell. I don't. Is the mod working on that one? It's gotta be. It's gotta be working on it. I might just have to go with this one for a little bit. Mm. We're getting towards the end of the game, and as much as, you know, usually in the cutscenes, her helmet is off. I still don't think I really want anything crazy in the way. So we'll have to do this, but. And here we go. Girlie's in the hoodie. I'm doing this because we're very we're gonna be basically be doing the shore leaf citadel soon, the thing. Um, and I like to have her wear the hoodie during that. It's just weird I feel like it's weird to not wear the Alliance uniform when you're like running around on your ship. Like it's not like on once she's on the ship, it's like, ooh, time off. It's she's still working, you know, but I'm I'm very fond of the hoodie. I actually own this hoodie myself and it's my favorite hoodie, so I like it a lot. I actually dressed up, the one year I actually dressed up for Comic Con, I actually got a pair of black skinny jeans like this and I used like a silver, like a, like a gel glue thing and I drew those lines on the pants. Uh, and I did bring, I have a, a, like a Nerf gun that's been repainted as like an N7 pistol um, that I bought at Comic Con one year and I had that strapped. I think I had it strapped to my lower back actually. Is the, I think whatever whatever thing I had worked best that way. I think I would like to put it on my... If I did it again, I'd probably try to put it on my thigh. But yeah, anyway. It was pretty simple, but it was fun. Anyway, don't mind me being... Melancholic. Oh, the Thane letter. It's getting close to the end, right? You would, uh... I think you'd get a little bit contemplative, contemplative at the end. But unfortunately for all of us involved, I think I am going to attempt to do some scanning in some places, which means the rest of this video is going to be, oh, I don't know. I'll actually probably call it here. This video is not going to be that long, but uh, in the next bit, I'm going to do some scanning missions for a while. And that's just going to be like an hour long video that's very lightly edited, if at all, just vibing through space, seeing what we can pick up. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patrons, Riz Galito, thank you so much, and Sebastian James, thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest Tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.